So question four says solve the following equation by factoring. So I have 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 is equal to 10. I'm sorry, equal to 0. So again, to solve a quadratic equation by factoring, the first thing has to be is set equal to 0. So that's how the, the right-hand side is already 0. So our next step is to factor. So we have this 2x squared minus 9x minus 5 is equal to 0. So since the coefficient of x squared is a 2, I'm going to use the box method as my strategy of factoring. Now, again, you can just use guess and check as well if you're good at it. So notice that the, um, the quadratic term is the 2x squared. It goes here. And the constant is the negative 5 that goes there. Now, the catch is when we make big T, you want to multiply the 2 times the negative 5. So 2 times negative 5 is going to be negative 10. And we need the factors of negative 10 that give me this negative 9, the, the linear coefficient. So this negative 9 here is what I need. So the factors of a negative 10 that give me this negative 9. So the factors of 10 would be 1 and 10 and 2 and 5. That would be it. Notice this 1 and 10 looks pretty good to get this 9. We also notice that to get a negative 10, one of these has got to be negative. But to get a negative 9, when adding, the bigger number would have to be negative. So 1 times negative 10 is negative 10. 1 plus negative 10 is negative 9. So that checks out. So that's going to be in my, this is going to, I'm going to use this to rewrite my, my linear term. So my linear term is going to be this 1x, if you will, and this negative 10x. And again, it doesn't really matter where you put those two at. So from there, what I want to do is identify the GCF of these two numbers, these two terms. And what we're picking up on is they both have an X in common. So if I factor the X out, what I'm trying to do is figure out what's left. So what times X is 2X squared? Well, I need a 2 and an X. X times 2X does give me this 2X squared, so that matches. So what over here can I multiply X by to get 1X? Well, I would need a 1. 1 times X is 1X. So then we move to this spot. What times 2x is negative 10x? Well, that would have to be a negative 5. Negative 5 times 2x is negative 10x. And does negative 5 times 1, does negative 5 times 1 give you negative 5? It does. So that means our factorization is going to be these two terms on the outside. So this 2x squared minus this 9x minus this 5 is equal to 0. It's going to turn into the factor is x minus 5 times then the 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. So what we do now is, since we've got it factored, we want to set each factor equal to 0 to finish solving this equation. So x minus 5 is going to equal 0, and 2x plus 1 is going to equal 0. So remember, the constant is just going to move to the other side of the equation, and that's just going to be x equals 5. Over here, the constant is going to move to the other side of the equation. That's going to be 2x equals negative 1. But then when you divide by 2, this 2 is going to go underneath the negative 1. So x is going to equal then this negative 1 half. So we pick up on that little pattern there that to get x by itself, we're going to move the 1 over, so it's going to change sign. But to, to make this coefficient go away, we're going to be dividing by 2. So this 2 is going to end up underneath the negative 1 and get this negative 1 half. So again, notice how our answer has got to be integer or a simplified fraction. So we they, they do not want any decimals. So we have a five and a negative one half as our solutions. So we have a five comma negative one half. And it doesn't matter what order you put those in. So as long as you have a negative five and a negative one half in, that's going to be the correct answer.